Thanks a lot. Yeah, you get the tickets, I'll get the ice creams. A bit late tonight, aren't you, Jack? Yeah, I know. Two, please. Are you and your girlfriend? No, me and ma'am. I'm only joking. There you go, love. Ta. Hurry up, Jack. Have we missed the beginning? No, love. The big film starts in three minutes. It does a bit. Now be quiet and watch the picture. A home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play, where seldom is heard a discouraging word, and the skies are not cloudy all day. The air is so pure. Glenda, Glenda, it was really great, Billy. Oh. Susan and Indians. Yeah. I've just travelled it looks like you and it's called John Wayne. Alright. Oh, <laughs> if I tell you a little secret, we you keep it just between you and me. Don't even tell your mum, right? I promise. <sighs> Cross my heart not to die. It's good. What is it? Well, you see, I am John Wayne. Honest? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah, I am. No, I want to have nobody. Where are your cowboy clothes and all that? Well, I can't get me guns and my horse around here, now can I? Oh, please go, man. Wow, oh, should be good. Oh. I'll be supper then straight to bed, all right, son? Man, is that you, man? No, it's only me. Just come say good night. Grandad? Was my dad brave like you? Braver, son. Braver. But you're John Wayne. Yeah, I know. But your dad, he had to fight against tanks <laughs> and machine guns in the Korean War. Me, I only had to fight against bows and arrows. Come on, Dad, let him get to sleep. He's got school in the morning. Oh, well, that's your mum. There's no better girl. You know what she's like. Grandas? What, son? You won't die, will you? Only the good die young, so you and me, we're gonna live forever. Hey, and don't you worry about things like that, right? You just go to sleep and you dream about all them adventures I told you about, right? Yeah. God bless. Because I got my granddad and I can't ask nobody. What's this big secret then? Yeah, what was it? Yeah, come on, tell us. Can't tell you, can I? It's a secret. Wouldn't be a secret if it's older, would it? Because it's a lie, that's why. It's not, honest. If you saw him, do you believe me? What do you mean if you saw him? All right, I'll tell you. If you promise not to tell anyone else. Yeah, yeah we, we promise. promise. Cross our hearts and to die. Spare your mum from that life then. Yeah, All right then. My granddad is John Wayne. <laughs> John, John Wayne. Wayne. <laughs> Don't be daft. How could he be John Wayne? John Wayne lives in cowboy land far away. Yeah, and he's got guns, and horses, and all that. And he's not from Liverpool. He lives in Birkenhead or Chester or somewhere like that. No, he lives with me and my man. 
He gives that off now because he doesn't want to get into trouble with the police. Oh, go away. Dad. Sorry? What for? What have you done? Honestly, Am. Um, Why? Dad, sorry. Oh, come didn't on. mean to do it. You didn't mean to do it. What? You know, I promised not to tell him about you being John Wayne. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's all for me mates and they're coming out to see you in a minute. <laughs> oh, hey. Don't worry about it, right? Hey? People blow. <laughs> That must be your hombres now, Jack. What? All right. Pull yourself together. You go and answer the front door. Listen. While I go upstairs and get my guns. Guns? Yeah. Come on. I'll give you Dexter's in, and you give me Stanley Matthews. Stanley! Where is he then? He's coming now. He's just getting his guns on. His guns on. Howdy, partners. My boy here tells me you don't believe I am who he says I am. We do now, Mr. Webster. Huh? Yeah, I mean, Mr. Wayne, don't we, lads? Yeah. Yeah, we do. What's it like being a real cowboy, Mr. Wayne? Well, it's a hard life, kid. But I tell you what, if you're good guys for your mars and pars, I'll take you all out in the range with me one day, huh? Uh, do you think we could, we could have your autograph, Mr. Wayne? You sure can, little fella. Who's it for, huh? Mickey! For Mickey. Howdy. Partner. John Wayne. There you go. Wow, Chris. Thanks a lot, Mr. Wayne. Oh, and guys, let's keep this our little secret, shall we? Huh? I mean, we don't want the whole town coming round here now, do we? Huh? No, Mr. Mr. Wayne. We won't say a thing. We've sworn in our lives. Adios, amigos. Adios. Last night he told me I saw this gang out called the Jessies on the run. What's the Jessies? The bunch of outlaws. Watch this then, Sissies. A love letter. It's not, just give it back, will you? Oh, what, fat so? Tell me what's on, you can have it back. Why well, don't you learn to read then? You'd know, wouldn't you? Hey, don't be smart as me, me, McCandor. I'll smash your face right in. All right. So what do you say then? Or do you want to die? This is a secret, I promised I wouldn't tell. Right, tell me what it says when your head's coming off. Come on, what's it say? Just guess off and will you? I'll tell you. Don't, Jack, you promised. It's our secret. Guess off and Dobson, I'll tell you what it says. What's it say then? It says Alan Dobson's a big fat face. No, it doesn't say that. It says to Mickey, I'll do partner to John Wayne. Don't give me that shite. Where would you meet big John Wayne? It's Jack Dranzard and he lives in Rice Terrace. You really are stupid, aren't you? Do you expect me to believe that? Come down to our house, then I find out. All right, then I will. I haven't had a laugh in ages. Go on, what happened? I grabbed a piece of paper off him. Yeah. Got him in the headlock. But he didn't mean to tell. He just trying to stop Alan Dobson from beating me up. Ah, don't worry about it, kid. i tell you what. You'll make it the right thing. Yeah. Hey, uh... What time's it coming round? Where's Big John then? Washing the dishes? Here he is now, so let's watch him, will ya?
Are you the outlaw that's been giving my boy here a bad time? And who the bloody hell do you think you are? Gabby Ace? You're not John Wayne. You're too short and old, and you don't even look like him. Now listen, young fella. You're too young to be using language like that. Now get before I draw my gun on you. What guns? They're not real. I've got better guns than that at all. And another thing, your hat looks stupid. It's too small for you. You're not John Wayne. You're just a stupid I'll guess. Don't you talk to my granddad like that. He is John Wayne. You're the shell, so shut up, will you? Hey! Now listen, you. You get back to your own ranch, do you hear? And don't come back here no more, you hear that? You're nothing but a doggone bully. I'm gonna get my dad on you. He'll knock shit out of you for kicking me, you stupid old bastards. Oh, yeah? Well, I heard about your pa. He's a bully boy, just like you are. Well, you can tell your old man if he wants a showdown to meet me outside the Barley Mo Saloon at 7 o'clock tonight. All right, then I will, and I'll be the best laugh he's had in ages. And another thing, your American accent stinks. Come on, hey, come on here, man. Let's have a look at him, a little chuckle. Oh, I can't. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. He'll live. Come on, we'll go inside and get you cleaned up. You are John Wayne, aren't you, Grandad? I sure am, son. You believe that, don't you? Yeah. And your mates, they know that, don't they? Yeah. But why does Nan Dobson believe you? Because he's got no imagination. That's why. Are you really going to meet his dad tonight, Grandad? I surely am, Pilgrim. I surely am. It's time. Both of them were taught a lesson. Come for my boy. 